speaker is from the mass movement in Britain against austerity, the People's Assembly. It's John Rees. Thank you very much, Paul. I don't think any of us are in a moment's doubt about the significance of the election of Syriza in Greece. It represents the first time since the 2008 crash that hope has entered the dialogue with the bankers, the bosses and the governments of Europe. It is the first time that any people has elected a government which says plainly and simply austerity is not working. It is perhaps even more significant than that because it is perhaps the first time since neoliberal economics came to dominate our lives under Margaret Thatcher and Ronald Reagan that any people has stood up and said we simply will not take this anymore. That's the message. We won't take it anymore. So let's be clear where this challenge came from. It is so much more, so much more than a single election of a single party. Because this party came from the streets. This party came from the unions. This party came from the direct struggle of ordinary working people. It is a creation of a mass movement and it was elected because it is the creation of a mass movement. And more than this, because it faces now challenges and threats from the rich, from the bankers, from the governments, from the Troika, because it faces the mass ranks of the powerful and the wealthy, it can only succeed if it is defended in the streets, if it is defended by the unions, if it is defended by the people of Europe from one end of the continent to another. The fate of Syriza is in all our hands. And for that reason, the People's Assembly is calling for a mass demonstration against austerity six weeks after the general election in this country because there is one thing that is sure about the next general election here that whatever government comes to power, it will try and enforce austerity and we are going to take to the streets in this country to say we will not have it here because they have not had it in Greece and it should not be imposed anywhere. So I give you this pledge and it's a pledge I believe that millions of people in this country also subscribe to. It is this. I was the first person in my family to be born in an NHS hospital. I was the first person in my family to come home to a publicly owned council house. I was the first person in my family who throughout my lifetime, if I felt ill, I was cared for by a national health service. I was the first person in my family ever to go to university. But I tell you this, I tell David Cameron this, and I tell Ed Miliband this, I will not be the last working person in this country that defends the welfare state, that defends the NHS, that defends public education.